My name is Ibrahim Gambari, uh, and I was the immediate uh, past um, chief of staff to the president of Nigeria, but formerly foreign minister of uh, Nigeria, and also former United Nations Under Secretary General in charge of political affairs. First of all, um, to thank uh, His Excellency, the President of the ECOWAS Commission, for the opportunity to serve in this very uh, critical and high-level position as head of the ECOWAS uh, uh, election observer mission uh, in Senegal for the presidential election. And of course, the first word is to say that ECOWAS is ready, able and willing to accompany the uh, electoral uh, process and to ensure that uh, the best practices uh, are, are accomplished and that uh, the outcome that this region needs, this country needs, is a free, fair, transparent election in a peaceful atmosphere. Well, this is um, uh, put together by the ECOWAS Commission. Uh, we have two sets of uh, observers. Uh, first, the short term, people who come closer to the election, and the longer term, to look at the environment uh, before, during, and also after the election. And it's composed of very senior officials of uh, the commission, but also from member states, parliamentarians, experts, um, people from everywhere's parliament, uh, the judiciary, and, 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 and all the rest of them. It's a very large delegation of about 130 members, just to show the importance that ECOWAS attaches to supporting uh, the people of uh, Senegal and their commitment uh, to um, free and fair election, to democracy, to good governance, and to human rights. Senegal has been a leader. I think uh, in the 70s, they were one of the first countries to opt for multi-party democracy, and um, they, they have set an example uh, of uh, change of government by constitutional means, and this tradition, this legacy should be continued, and the people of Senegal, all the stakeholders, to come together to ensure that we have a peaceful, credible uh, election. Because it's, the impact is not only for the development of this country, for the good of the people of Senegal, but for the region and for West Africa and the continent as a whole. Thank you so much, Your Excellency.